In the first year of the Physical Natural Sciences course, you choose four subjects, one of which is maths, and then you pick three sciences. You can do a range of things, so you can do physical sciences and biological sciences together if you want to. After first year, you'll hopefully have found something that you really enjoy and you can start to specialise a bit more. In second year, you pick three subjects, and then by third year, you go down to just one. So I had actually always kind of been interested in astrophysics. I had a, a teacher in my secondary school that studied astrophysics and uh, she was kind of my inspiration when, when I originally thought about applying. I did my essay on the first interstellar object, so it's the first asteroid that they saw from outside of the solar system. It was only detected in 2017, so it was really new when I was actually looking into it. It was really interesting to learn about. I wanted to do physics. Um, I kind of had an idea of doing astrophysics or something related to that, but I wasn't kind of completely sure. Uh, so in first year I did physics, chemistry, materials and maths and kind of really enjoyed the like physics and maths so then decided to do physics and maths in second year after that. When I was originally applying for university I thought I wanted to do chemical engineering but I wasn't quite sure so I decided to do a year in industry before starting at university and then during that year in industry I discovered that what I really did like was the material science aspects of the placement that I was doing, looking at sort of steels and metals and things like that. So in first year I did a fairly standard combination for people who are interested in physical sciences which is chemistry, physics, material science and then one of the maths options. And then in second year I did material science and then one of the chemistry options and one of the physics options. Kind of sounds like you're spreading yourself a bit thinly but actually had a really good overlap between the different courses. My project this year was based around natural fibres and kind of animal fibres and so we basically stuck lots and lots of those down onto little paper cards and then put them in a machine that just pulled them until they broke and recorded the forces. Next year I'm staying on and doing the masters then after that I think I'd like to work um, in the more commercial side of science. In natural sciences course it's privilege but also um, sort of intellectual pleasure to meet lots of people whose books I have read uh, years ago. And it's also very nice to be in an environment where you're both challenged, but encouraged to challenge people's ideas. And that does bring to further scientific development, which is actually very exciting. In the third year of the Earth Sciences course, you get together with a group of friends and you plan a mapping project somewhere abroad. I chose to go to Canada and we got to look at rocks which were two billion years old. Uh, we also got to experience the local culture, the place was super friendly and we all had a really great time. I had never really heard about earth sciences until I came to Cambridge and I ended up falling in love with the subject. The department is fantastic, we get so many great opportunities and I've loved it so much that I'm actually staying on for a PhD next year.